The search for new, potentially habitable celestial bodies has always been a central aspect of modern space exploration. A look at the achievements of terrestrial scientists shows that this galactic search for clues has been more successful than ever in the recent past. Experts have already succeeded in identifying more than 4,800 exoplanets in over 3,500 different systems. However, all of these alien worlds are located within our home Milky Way. A recently published study now suggests that scientists have reached a significant astronomical milestone, the discovery of the first planet outside our home galaxy. What exactly aroused the interest of astronomers and what speaks for the fact that the observed phenomena are to be attributed to the influences of a strange planet will reveal to you now. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again in the future. Feel free to show us you like the galactic themes of our posts with a thumbs up. A striking phenomenon. Viewed from our terrestrial telescopes, the so-called Whirlpool Galaxy looks like a giant galactic whirlpool bursting with sparkling formations. Inside this large spiral galaxy in the constellation of Hunting Dogs, also known by the scientific name M51, new stars are regularly born, while their much older counterparts expand, extinguish, and finally explode over time. This fascinating structure in the firmament, which has a diameter of about 80,000 light years, once again attracted the special attention of experts a few years ago. Back in 2012, NASA's Chandra X-ray Telescope identified a striking detail in the Whirlpool Galaxy, which is located about 25 million light years from our home Milky Way. The ominous observation at the time was a strange flicker in the X-ray light emanating from that very remote spiral galaxy. Scientists recognized that an X-ray source in one of the arms of the galaxy practically switched off over a period of about two hours before it suddenly began to flare up again. In principle, such a phenomenon is not unusual in the cosmos. Researchers have often observed how certain X-ray sources periodically dim. In the case of the event observed in the Whirlpool Galaxy, the temporary emission flare originated from M51 ULS-1. This cosmic structure is composed of two objects, which so far have not been identified conclusively. It is conceivable that one of these counterparts is either a neutron star or a black hole. The counterpart is possibly a blue giant, or in other words, a giant star with 10 to 50 times the mass of our sun. After the astronomers took a closer look at the corresponding X-ray signal a few months ago, they arrived at a groundbreaking thesis. The researchers suspect that the cause of the brief weakening of the X-ray emissions was something they had never seen before, a so-called extroplanet. While experts have already succeeded in adding more than 4,800 exoplanets to the star charts to date, all of which, however, are located in our home Milky Way, the celestial body in M51 would be the first known planet in history to orbit in another galaxy. A planet outside the Milky Way? The groundbreaking hypothesis put forward by a team of experts led by astronomer Roseanne Di Stefano of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics was recently published in the journal Nature Astronomy. The study cites possible evidence that the observed X-ray burst was caused by a Saturn-sized planet that passed in front of M51 ULS-1 at the time. The hypothetical planetary candidate was thereby christened M51-1 and would orbit its galactic fixed point at a distance equal to the distance between Uranus and the Sun. Although many press agencies immediately headlined the expert's study as the discovery of the first planet outside the Milky Way, Scientists have not yet been able to confirm their galactic sensation indisputably, since the hypothetical celestial body will not make its next transit in front of M51 ULS-1 for several decades. This will probably remain the case for some time. Di Stefano's team also modeled other objects within its research that could have caused the brief X-ray dip. However, none of these simulations reflected the actual conditions recorded. The astronomers emphasized that the possible planet in the Whirlpool Galaxy is not a confirmed discovery. 
Di Stefano stated that she and her colleagues cannot say with absolute certainty that the observed effects were caused by a distant planet. In the same breath, however, the experts stated that the only model consistent with the data collected is that of a hypothetical planet. Within the expert world, however, the approach of the researchers was also met with criticism. Some scientists criticized the method of detection, which was based on the analysis of X-rays. They said this method was not suitable for distinguishing planets from other cosmic bodies, such as brown dwarfs or cool stars of the spectral type M. The Search for Alien Planets Astronomers have been scouring the firmament for several decades, looking for alien planets orbiting outside our solar system. The first galactic bullseye came in 1992, when researchers identified the first known exoplanet in the realm of the rapidly rotating neutron star PSR 1257-12. Before this groundbreaking milestone was reached, most people had assumed that the alien celestial bodies would show great similarities to the representatives of our home planetary system in terms of their landscapes and characteristics. Today we know, however, that the different exoplanets differ drastically from the known phenomena on our galactic neighbors. Let us think, for example, of the exoplanet HD 189773b, with an atmosphere of tiny, razor-sharp glass particles. Hat P7b, which was added to the star charts in 2008, showed just how precious the discovery of a previously unknown celestial body can be in the truest sense of the word. Here, violent storms regularly whip rubies and sapphires across the celestial body. Although all of the so far undoubtedly identified exoplanets are located within the Milky Way, it's very likely in view of the gigantic dimensions of the universe that the most breathtaking planets are to be found outside our home galaxy. However, the most distant known exoplanet from Earth is just 28,000 light years from our terrestrial home. In fact, the farther away a planet is from us, the more difficult it is to detect the light reflected from it. The reason for this is that the bright stars within these alien planetary systems usually outshine all other celestial bodies in their realms. Consequently, it's only in the rarest cases that experts prove an exoplanet's existence directly. In detail, not even 2% of all known exoplanets have been identified by direct observations. Indirect detection methods seem to be much more promising, especially the transit method. In this method, the planet is not detected directly, but only indirectly by observing the brightness of its host star. During a planetary transit, for example, or in other words, the passing of a planet in front of its star, the celestial body temporarily obscures a part of its ancestral parent star, thus temporarily reducing its brightness. In order to exclude random events in the course of the transit method, experts must observe at least three successive transits with equal time intervals between them. At first glance, one might assume that this procedure promises rather low hit rates. The probability of observing a transit of a randomly selected star is not even 1%. In reality, however, about 80% of all known exoplanets have been found so far using the transit method. The majority of these cosmic bullseyes could be recorded with the help of the Kepler Space Telescope. In a sense, the discovery of the disputed planet in the Whirlpool Galaxy was also based on the basic features of the transit method. The big difference in this case, however, was that the observed dip was not detected in visible light but in the X-ray spectrum, since the corresponding X-ray emissions had their origin in a comparatively small area, a passing planet could have blocked most of the emitted radiation. If the cause of the temporary X-ray burst was indeed a planet, experts believe that it would have an extremely eventful past. For one thing, it would be bound by gravity to the double system M51 ULS1. Since this is a black hole or neutron star orbiting a giant star, the galactic interactions within this system have released gigantic amounts of hot dust and gas. This mass moves incessantly in the form of a so-called accretion disk around the black hole or the neutron star. It was this disk which emitted the X-rays detected by the experts. In principle, the X-ray emissions of such accretion disks do not have a stable character. So it happens that the corresponding radiation breaks off over a period of several hours, but it's extremely difficult to find out the exact causes for such events. It could be that the different variations within such a dynamic system are responsible for the temporary emission interruptions. In the case of M51 ULS1, however, DiStefano's team 
believes it is highly unlikely that the observed phenomenon was created by the gas and dust in the accretion disk. Typically, in such a case, some of the light begins to interact with the outermost regions of the disk, always producing a distinct spectral signature. However, such a signature could not be detected in the case of M51 ULS1. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think about the possible discovery of the first planet outside our home Milky Way? Write us your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions about today's post in the comments. Would you like to see more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then click on one of the images in the credits to get to the other contributions on our channel. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.